Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. We are going to solve an interesting radical algebraic equation twice square root x minus 1 plus cube root x equal to 1. I am going to show you two methods. So first method I am showing that is using calculus. Let me consider the given function fx. So twice of square root x minus 1 plus cube root x. Let's take derivative of that. So it will give us 2 times 1 over 2 x minus 1 power half minus 1. So minus half plus 1 over 3 x power 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2 over 3. So this term will get cancelled out. So in totality what I am getting that is under the root x minus 1 in the denominator and plus 1 over x power 2 over 3. Now let's talk about domain of the given equation. So what is domain of this equation? If you will observe this bracket because of square root is involved we can conclude x should be greater than or equal to 1. From second cubic root it is all real numbers. So overall we can say the domain is x greater than or equal to 1. Okay. If you want to check only if x is greater than 1. Let me write here if x is greater than 1 then you will see every time you will get this quantity positive. So f dash x would be you will write it is positive number. So conclusion from here we can write fx is monotonic increasing function increasing function okay now what about x equal to 1 if you will put x equal to 1 because that point is in our domain so if i will put x equal to 1 then my denominator will give us 0 plus 1 so it is infinity what does it mean if derivative is infinity? Its meaning is simple. If you will draw one tangent over there, then at that point, that tangent is parallel to y-axis. Okay. It is a still monotonic increasing function, but tangent which we are drawing after calculating f dash x, that is parallel to y-axis. So conclusion is very, very clear right hand side you are having one constant function left hand side you are having one monotonic increasing function so let me draw one line over there it is our right hand side y equal to one at most one intersection point would be there if one function is monotonic increasing another function is constant then you will have only one solution only one solution now how we will find out using check and error method. So let me put x equal to 1 directly because our domain starts from x equal to 1. So I will put x equal to 1. So 2 times square root 1 minus 1 plus 1 power 1 over 3 0 plus 1 equal to 1 which is our RHS. That means the only one solution which we were talking about that is x equal to 1. Solution is x equal to 1. This is using calculus. Let me show you graph using Desmos. I have taken this. Something very interesting is there. 2 times square root x minus 1. If you will see the graph of that, then it is always positive x greater than 1. See this is x equal to 1 always positive so this graph is twice of square root x minus 1 see this green color graph it is cube root x graph this black color line is y equal to 1 the constant function which is in right hand side and this green color graph is already we have written cubic root of x okay see what is happening at x equal to 1 the graph is if you will draw the graph of LHS then it is purple color graph. At x equal to 1 if you will draw one tangent line then it is parallel to y axis. 
all right that is why this graph is very very important because it is happening at the lower bound at the lower value x greater than or equal to 1 so at x equal to 1 this thing is happening okay let's consider algebraic method which is our second method okay i am going to give substitution so let x minus 1 equal to a square that means x is equal to a square plus 1 so what will be our equation a square root let me write here x minus 1 so i will write a square plus x so i will write a square plus 1 whole power 1 over 3 equal to 1 it is 2a plus a square plus 1 whole power 1 over 3 equal to 1. Take 2a towards right. So a square plus 1 whole power 1 over 3 equal to 1 minus 2a. Now cube both sides. So I will get a square plus 1 equal to 1 minus 2a whole cube. Okay. 1 over 3 will be cancelled out in, from the power. Now a minus b whole cube. a cube minus b cube minus 3ab. So minus 6a. a minus b as it is. Let me expand this. 1 minus 8a cube minus 6a plus 12a square. Take all the terms to left. But before that we can cancel this one unnecessarily why we should carry now consider all the terms towards left 8a cube minus 11a square plus 6a equal to 0 okay let me take a common out so 8a square minus 11a plus 6 equal to 0 now i have to solve only this equation so from this equation we can conclude either a would be 0 or the bracket 8a square minus 11a plus 6 equal to 0. Okay. If a is equal to 0 then can we write a square is also 0 and our substitution was x minus 1 equal to a square. So let me put here I will write x minus 1 equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1 is the only possible real solution. Now, it is confirmed that this equation will give us complex solution because it was only unique solution, single solution. So, let us find out a first. a must be equal to minus b, 11 plus minus square root b square minus 11 square 121 minus 4ac, 8 times 6, 48 times 4, 192 over 2a 16 11 plus minus if you will take away minus 71 so i will write i times square root 71 over 16 so this is our a if you want to find out x value then from here we can write x is equal to a square plus 1 that is complex obviously this solution would be complex solution so what i will do i will take a square so complex number is square i times root 71 over 16 whole square plus 1 if you will take a square and solve this value then we will have two complex root i am writing directly 153 plus minus i times 11 root 71 over 128 here two complex solutions okay so this is how we can find out any algebraic equation solutions using calculus as well as algebra. i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video